Welcome back, Agent. We detected another anomaly. This time, it's from within the Kanika sector. Not too long ago, Teresa Martin settled a lawsuit involving the death of Kanika Jenkins. It ain't none of our business as to why she settled it. But you can bet your rear end that the Goofies will use this settlement as a way to twist their narratives about Teresa Martin and their wild conspiracies. I didn't want to believe that these Goofies are still into this closed case, but they're still out there hoping anyone gullible enough to listen. Agent, you are to retell this story, leading to the lawsuit. There are no targets for you to go after, yet. So consider this as a training exercise. Report to the training center to get started. Dismissed, and if you see something, ah, damn it, I did it again. Welcome to the lounge. My name is Shadow, and I have a story to tell. Kanika Jenkins, from my view, was something I read on Facebook. In my downtime, I usually troll on Trump voters, Karens, and bootlickers. I didn't pay attention to the case. At the time, I was just a transit YouTuber, posting transportation content, and survived my third-year relationship with my then-crazy girlfriend, who is now my ex, but my best friend at the same time. 2017 was the year that I got used to the fact that we got an idiot for a president, not that I care about politics to begin with. But it was entertaining watching Trumpers and liberals going at it. Fast forward to spring of 2022, I discovered Tiffany M. Draper. After waking up in the middle of the night after binge watching a scammer known as Young Mellow, since then I've decided to follow her, in hopes she continues her content about Mellow. But as I scroll down Tiffany's content, I've discovered Mellow isn't her only content. Some of them are from Kanika Jenkins' case that other YouTubers are covering, and Tiffany did a reaction on them. I didn't realize at the time that there was a community focusing on Kanika's case. I was just a transit YouTuber, following a lady from Texas. I also discovered drama from within the community. By following Tiffany, I discovered random news, and he was exposing Goofies. Some are trying to twist the narrative about how Kanika died in the freezer at the Crown Plaza. For those wondering, Yes, the second inspiration for creating Storyteller's Lounge was inspired by following random news. The first inspiration came from Mystic Transit. Storyteller's Lounge was supposed to rival Mystic Transit, but it changed platforms. We'll meet the final YouTuber, who helped me create the lounge in a minute. There was a third person who I decided to follow, Loyalty and Betrayal. I discovered her in both Random's live stream, well, whenever he posts a new video, and during Tiffany's live. I discovered her at the wrong time. There was drama in Tiffany's live stream. I call it the Highlighter Wars. It was an argument between Loyalty and another YouTuber named 54 Keys. The argument was about a highlighted document. I'm not gonna disclose the details during this story because that situation is related for another character during season three's finale. I didn't know who to choose at the time. 54 Keys blew up, so did Loyalty. Not sure they made up, I never asked but I followed Loyalty anyway because at the time she did a video about a storyteller. Well, I wouldn't say storyteller, more like comedy relief. The third inspiration came from Edward Joseph. He's the reason why the lounge was created. He is going to be the season finale of season three, just a heads up. Backstories aside, this is how Storyteller's Lounge was created. Now that I got that out of the way, we can now turn to the next page. Kanika Jenkins was just like any other teen, go out and do girl stuff a normal thing for any teen. On Friday night, Kanika and her friends was planning a night out. Originally, they were going to watch a movie, but one of her friends suggest going to a party at the Crown Plaza in Rosemont. But sadly, no one was unaware that it would be the last time anyone would see Kanika alive. Kanika's death attract conspiracy theorists, but these special breeds are known as the Goofies. No need to tell a story about them, most were already covered throughout some of my stories. When the party was over, her friends starting to go look for her, until hours later, a body was found. In the kitchen of the Murray Brothers Caddy Shack, and within the freezer, lies the body of 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins. I'm not going to post a dead body, so I'm skipping that part. For six years, the case was closed, and YouTubers both normal and goofy were still putting the puzzles together, but to no avail. But then a few months ago, the Kanika community felt a explosion. Teresa Martin, Kanika's mother, settled the lawsuit. 
Crown Plaza was to pay $10 million. Some may feel cheated and felt that Teresa didn't acknowledge their hard work and the Goofies. With this new information, they're going to drag Teresa through the mud as a neglecting mother and member of the Illumanti. Oh, I'm sorry, they and many other wild claims the Goofies will make. But at the end of the day, Teresa Martin is an adult who lost her daughter. I don't have kids, so I don't know what it's like to lose one, but I can sense it's not something that can be fixed right away. And with that, we'll put the Kanika sector back on the bookshelf until a Goofy decides to reopen the book. The could have been 25 year old needs to be left alone and move on, but not forget. Until then, this is Shadow signing off, and if you see something, write something. Nice work, Agent. I ain't got nothing to add about the Kanika case. It's been way too long and the Goofies are still milking that poor girl. But we gotta be vigilant. With Teresa Martin settled that lawsuit, those Goofies will have a field day. Loyalty and betrayal made the right call and moved on. Why can't they? Oh, never mind. We already got Goofies on the FBG duck sector. The last thing we need is old Magneto bringing us pumpkin lattes. Return to base and take the rest of the weekend off. It's the holidays after all. Thank you for visiting Shadow Storyteller. If you like what you saw, click on the subscribe button and the bell for notification. Until next time, and happy holidays.